solve the differential equation x y double prime plus y equals zero about x equals zero okay we need to find the first four non-zero terms so first uh, let's compare this equation with the standard equation okay then we get that uh, px is x and x equals zero makes this polynomial px zero that means x equals zero is a singular point okay and next we want to show this singular point is indeed a regular singular point in that case we can assume this equation has a series solution for we find limit okay limit x going to zero x minus zero over a qx over px and we find zero and that is denoted by p lowercase p naught okay similarly find another limit which comes out to be zero that's q naught then since both limits are finite i mean since the limits exist we can say x equals zero is a regular singular point okay that means this equation has a series solution and we can write down the initial equation because we have we have already computed p naught and q naught so zero zero so that makes r r minus one zero that implies r is one and zero okay now for the first solution first solution is always given by the larger root in this case one so we take y equals n equals zero through infinity a n e x n plus r and r is one so a n e x n plus one be a solution then we find the derivative and we find the second derivative okay and note that this is n equals zero uh, but here n equals one we can we can put if we like n equals zero but that makes the very first term zero so n equals one now we substitute these three values in fact uh, let's look at the equation so we have x y double prime plus y equals zero so we multiply the second derivative by x and plus y then we just add this y when we multiply this by x so x times n minus 1 and x that will be just x n so we have this plus this y and this starts from 1 this starts from 0 it's x n plus 1 so let's make x n so for that we subtract 1 subtract 1 and add 1 okay and then this sum now starts from n equals 1 through infinity a n minus 1 a x n now we have same x n x n okay and the both series start from the same n equals 1 so we can combine in this way so factor x n out and we are now saying this series equals 0 that means this Num these numbers should be zero for all n bigger than or equal to one okay and that implies a n equals move a n minus one over so minus a n minus one divided by n n plus one and this is true for all n bigger than or equal to one due to this sum and this is called recurrence relation now let's try to find couple of first couple of terms and try to generalize uh, a one just take n equals one so we get negative 1 over 1 times 2 and we are taking a naught to be 1 what happens at the end of the day a naught will be a will be an arbitrary constant so we can just get that we can just assume that is 1 okay and find a2 just plug in n equals 2 here minus a1 over 2 times 3 and a1 is found in the previous step and that negative negative positive so 1 over 1 2 2 3 then 1, 2, 3 makes 3 factorial and 1 and 2 is 2 factorial. Take n equals 3, we get a3 equals negative 1 over 3 factorial, 4 factorial. So in this way, we can conclude a n is negative 1 to the n because we are getting negative, positive, negative. So negative 1 to the n, 1 over n factorial, n plus 1 factorial. Since this is true for only n bigger than or equal to 1, this works for n equals 0 as well. If we plug in a0, we're going to get 1. And we assume a0 equals 1. So 
this is true for all n bigger than or equal to one bigger than zero then our first solution is y was we have assumed n equals zero through infinity a and x and plus one and we just found a n okay it's a nice closed form this is a n and x n plus one and if you want to expand take n equals zero you get x take n equals one you get negative one half x square and if you want to third n equals two you get this okay this is how we get the uh, first one, two, three, four non-zero terms. But this was already given in the closed form. Okay, even better. Okay. Now we would like to find the second solution. Note that the difference of two roots, r1 minus r2, 1 minus 0 is 1, which is a number. Then the second solution has the form of this, a y1 ax ln ax plus x raised to r2 r2 is 0 in our case uh, times 1 plus this sum and we are we have assumed x positive and if I expand this because the question wants us to find only four non-zero terms I want to expand in this way so a to be determined y1 that's the first solution ln x plus uh, this x raised to 0 which is 1 so we don't have to write anything 1 plus so 1 plus now evaluate for n equals 1 okay and c and r2 all that means the values of cns these values of cns depend on second root r2 so i just want to avoid writing r2 here so take n equals 1 2 3 4 and we have now these couple of terms that's the y okay now to find c1 c2 c3 c4 and here is a we find the first derivative Okay, here a is constant, but y1 times ln x. So we need to use product rule here, product rule. So derivative of y1, y1 prime, I just drop this x, because y1 is a function of x, all that means. So a y1 prime ln plus a y1 derivative of ln 1 over x, and just find the derivative of 1, 0, and this polynomial. Find the second derivative, so we have to use product rule here and here okay when you use the product rule then you get two terms that can be combined so you have this and uh, by the way derivative of 1 over x is negative 1 over x squared that's why we have this term and take the derivative of this now we have y y double prime now we want to plug these into the original ordinary differential equation x y double prime plus y equals zero so pretty much we multiply this y double prime by x okay that's what we have here plus y y is here that plus y equals zero now uh, let's combine um, like terms or uh, not like terms uh, in this case y1 double prime and here is y1 because y1 is a solution of y1 is a first solution of this equation okay that means x y1 double prime plus y1 is 0 y1 satisfies this equation so if i factor ln x and a out then that leaves y1 uh, x y1 double prime plus y1 okay that means this is 0 and we don't have this term anymore and we have everything at the same time now look 2 c2 x c1 x we can factor x out 2c2 plus c1 okay and x square x square they are like terms so we can combine here x cube x cube we can combine here and all the way to etc zero now i want to leave just one through uh, one through all the way here this polynomial in the left side uh, these two terms have y1 y1 prime move these two terms over okay so this negative a y1 1 over x becomes plus and this 2a y1 prime becomes minus by the way y1 is the first solution okay and look at here y1 i just wrote a couple of terms y1 the first solution was x minus x square over 2 plus x cube over 12 etc now let's work on this right hand side for a moment okay just this right hand side uh, multiply this y1 by a 
and divide by x because 1 over x means divide by x and subtract uh, find the derivative of y1 just find the derivative of these four terms or you can have one more find the derivative of these four terms and multiply by 2a then combine with these two terms so after some work you'll have this term okay you can pause the video and work on your own so you get this now we are saying the left hand side is equal to right hand side and this one is constant here negative a is constant so when two things are equal that means negative a equals one that is same as a equals negative one okay and look at the coefficient of x so 2c1 plus 2c2 plus c1 that's the coefficient of x here coefficient of x is 3 halves a okay that means this coefficient should be equal to 3 halves a and so on 3 6 c3 plus c2 should be equal to negative 5 12 a and 12 c4 plus c3 equals 7 over 144 a and by the way a is just negative 1 so you can replace here in the next line so just negative a equals negative 1 a equals negative 1 a equals negative 1 so we have a equals negative 1 now we need to solve these three three and more in fact there are more but we are only finding a couple of terms non-zero terms okay but look c1 c2 and there there are two unknowns and we have only one equation that means there will be always more than one solution so for simplicity we could have taken c1 equals zero but let me take c1 equals one so when we take c1 equals one then 2c2 plus one equals negative three halves move one over minus one negative three halves minus one negative five halves now divide by two negative five fourths so you get negative five fourths okay if you don't like this you can take c1 equals zero okay that might be even easier and now we have c2 plug in c2 here simplify move that over divide by six you get c3 and plug in c3 here move over divide by 12 we get c4 so thus we have a second solution that's why a second solution because this is not unique we could have taken c1 equals 2000 or c1 equals zero a y1 x ln x plus one plus c1 x c2 c3 c4 c5 etc but only we found only c1 c2 c3 c4 here plug those in here and we have a second solution and in, in fact the second solution includes a equals negative one second solution includes y1 which is the first solution okay final